Baba Booey. WestJet. What is up, Pokemanes and Chest Pains? My name is WestJet, and today we're going to be going over the Phantom Skins of Valor and re-ranking them. Oh, and literally, 0% of your subscribes. Be sure to subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Data already happened. Drip of that 250k. Coming soon. Coming in at number 28, we have the Shrek Serenity Phantom. Honestly, I don't know how this skin is still in the game. I'm pretty sure nobody's ever used it for more than one game. Like, you use it for one game, and you're like, bruh, what is this? Get it out of my face. Exactly the same story with the Avalanche. I would rather get stuck in an Avalanche and die there twice than use this skin. Yikes. This skin was made by a sex offender for sex offenders. No hate to the guy who designed this, but bro, could you have done anything better? How much crack were you on? And coming in at 25, we have the infamous Smite Phantom. The Smite Phantom is disgusting. It's a blue gradient with a dot JPEG lightning strike. Even I could make it in five seconds. Look at this shit. I mean, it's not gonna be as good because I literally did it in 45 seconds, but basically the same thing. I could work on the gradient though. Wait, what? What are you doing there? What are you looking at? Anyways, this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legend. Now, everybody knows what Raid Shadow Legends is. It's a turn-based game with over 600 different characters and a lot of different bosses and enemies that have unique play styles. This, for instance, is Sir Galaroth. The guy is straight enormous, kind of like me, 6'5". And you know what they say, right? The taller they are, the harder they fall. There are two things I like most about Raid Shadow Legends. The summons act as a sort of uh, offshore gambling in Curacao that I really enjoy. I'm a big fan. Raid has incredible special events every day, and in the update, they're adding a guardian ring, which lets you customize your champions even more. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Raid is available to download for free on both iOS and Android. And computer PC. And if you want an even bigger head start, all you need to do is hit the link in the description or scan the QR code. New players will get the epic champion Chinoru, 200,000 silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and 1 ancient shard. And of course, you can access all of that top right in the inbox section. That'll be top right in the inbox section. Thank you Raid for sponsoring this video. Now let's get right back into the skid. Since my last Last tier list, I bumped this up a lot because, you know, Nats used it, but, like, I don't really care that much that Nats used it. The skin's still ugly. If my favorite YouTuber, uh, <laughs> Barack Obama, used the Smite Phantom, would I use it? No. And coming in at number 23, we got LeBron James. I know the joke is this. Haha, <laughs> Timmy, it got anus in the name. Funny joke. Laugh. But in all seriousness, this isn't funny at all. This gives me depression, anxiety, and PTSD. The rider who designed this skin literally has no family. He spent Christmas alone and decided to give us all coal. This is gross. <laughs> I mean, hey. <laughs> it's a rare skin. It shows that you've been playing Valorant for a really long time and have nothing else to do with your life. I personally have it and I'm proud of it. Let's go. What does this skin even depict? Is that a rabbit? Is that, is that a Squid Game reference? The only rush I get from the Rush Phantom is when I'm getting rushed to the hospital for crying too much of how bad this skin is. Just like the Arrow Candy, the Arrow Phantom is pretty mid. Wow, he had another green screen skin. Incredible. He had another 20 second Photoshop job. What a joke. Bruh. If you like this skin, you are an idiot moron, and uh, you should get LASIK like Flexinja. Obviously, Flexinja isn't an idiot moron, but hey, you are. I've made the comparison of this skin in the past to Tesla's Cybertruck, and, you know, quite frankly, it does resemble it, but unlike Tesla's Cybertruck and Tesla the company itself, this skin isn't overvalued and trash and built solely off of hype, and yeah, Tesla? you. I hate your company. You're not really a car brand. You are overhyped based on tech and FOMO. Elon Musk kill- And coming in at number 14, we have the Celestial Phantom. Um, three people own this skin. I am not one of them. I am glad I'm not one of them. This reminds me of a Kung Fu Panda Bing Chillin'. Bing Chillin'. Just one of the best Phantom skins from the Battle Pass. Nothing else to say. Everybody likes this. It's a decent skin. It looks kinda goo. It moving. Uh, this is just a Sinatra Oni Phantom, but made in Detroit. I don't even have a video for it because that's how ghetto this skin is. See, don't get me wrong. The skin's all right, it's good. It doesn't really have a firing animation, so that takes it off a peg. Haha, <laughs> peg, you get it? That's funny. Anyways, yeah, this kid's I. Before we get to our top 10, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Don't get me wrong, Glitch Pop looks cool, but it doesn't sound cool. And you know, sound is cool. Now, don't get me wrong, the singularity is amazing, but the spray sometimes is harder to control than a white woman off three white claws on a Wednesday. Holy crap, I should write poems. Prime Phantom just sounds really good. It sounds like... Bing Chilling! I like this skin because it's unique. I don't think it's, like, necessarily better than the skins behind it, but, you know, something new, something cool, something fresh, something saucy. Okay, this skin is only cool in its red variant. I don't really have it here, but you gotta get the right grip. You gotta get the one where he's holding it, and it gives you a different perspective. That thing is top ten. That, beautiful. It's amazing. Okay, no cap. The ruination is amazing. I just don't think it's as good as the skins up ahead. You know, it did ruin my life, but... Yeah, so did my dad. This skin is as sick as the player from Sentinel. Sick, but like, you know, that's pretty sick and all, but, you know, it, it doesn't have any colorways, you know, you know, you know. 
The Blastix Phantom has like a big community around it. It's almost as knit as the Jim Jones community. Good job, Riot Games. Calling a skin the Spectrum that is very wholesome 100, that is very progressive, is very inclusive, and very nice to people. Great work, Riot Spectrum. All right, Jamie, boot up a drum roll. And with no surprise, it's the Sinatra Oni Phantom. You should have expected this. Should have saw this coming a long time ago. What a beautiful skin. What a beautiful skin. If you disagree with the list, first of all, you're stupid. Second of all, leave a comment with your top five skins. Anyways, thank you to The Forge for allowing me to use his skin videos so I don't have to buy the skins myself because as you know it, I am not rich. I am from Detroit. Can't scare me, you slant-eyed yellow bastard. Take him to Detroit. No! No, not Detroit! Anyways, stay classy, stay cool, and don't be a fool. Thank you for watching. Let's go! Cause I'm feeling like I'm running and I'm feeling like I gotta get away, get away, get away, but I know that I don't and I